So this is the Georgia O'Keeffe painting that we're going to be copying. And I'm going to show you a, two, a couple of samples that I already made, and then I'll show you how to do it. So this is one of the samples that I made. And then the other one, I didn't glue everything down yet, but I'm just kind of showing you. So this one looks a little different. But I made them both the same way. So this is what you need for your project. I gave you a piece of black paper, brown paper, white paper, some tissue, scissors, some kind of glue, and a stapler would be handy, but I'll tell you something. If you don't have a stapler, I'll tell you what you can use instead. That's for the flower at the end. So let's put aside the tissue because that's at the end for the flower. So we're going to start off with your white paper, fold it in half the long way. I forgot to say a pencil. And then you're going to write your name on your paper. It can be printed or in cursive. So I'm going to go ahead and write my first name. Use a pencil because when I used a pen, it kind of showed through. And then you're going to cut around your name while it's still folded. So just cut close to your name. And then all the way, make it round around your name like that. Okay, and when you do that, believe it or not, it looks like a skull. Isn't that cool? That's just so weird. I can't believe that. All right, so now we're going to do some of the shading to make, uh, make it look like the animal bone. So what you're going to do is you're going to get either a brown colored pencil or a crayon, and you're going to add some... Like first you're going to put a line down the center where it's the line of symmetry. So just kind of color it a little bit in the middle. And then maybe like a couple of lines here for the nostrils. And then you kind of need the eye holes over here. And then maybe something up here. All right. Now you're going to take your brown paper. Now I only, when I made both of those two samples, I only used a total of one piece of paper. So this is just extra if you mess up. Okay, so fold it in half, and you're going to make the horns or antlers. So I'll show you a couple ways to do it. So this one has antlers, and I made them kind of crooked like that. This one has horns. So you have to decide which you want to make. So if you want to make, when I did it, I didn't actually draw it. If you want to draw it, you can. I just went for it. So I just did kind of like a C and then I just like that. And now if you do it on folded paper, you will have two that are exactly the same. And then all you're going to do is glue them behind here. So if you want to do the antlers, I'll kind of show you how to do the antlers. When I did the antlers, when I did it, I kind of did that C shape, but I kept, I kept going back and forth like this. And I kind of went like that that and I just like that and then almost like a leaf I'm kind of going back and forth back and forth it doesn't have to be perfect or anything and then I made sure I had two and I, I could do antlers instead if I wanted to okay so I'm gonna go ahead and use the horns and I think I'll make them going down like Georgia O'Keeffe did in her painting but you could make them going the opposite way if you want so I'm just going to put a little glue stick here, and there are the antlers. Okay, now just with my scrap paper, all I'm going to do is cut some little um, triangles kind of for the nostrils. So I just took this little paper that I had, and I just made a triangle out of it. It doesn't have to be exactly a triangle. It could be um, more of an oval if you want. So I can put the nostrils right here. Let me take some of the other scratch paper. Let's say I'm going to make an oval. I could do it like just cut any old shape here. Could do more of an oval shape if you like that. If you want to try a different couple of different things and see what you like better. Okay? So what, whatever shape you want. I also have the picture of Georgia O'Keeffe's on the, on the website if you want to do it more like hers. Hers is kind of a, an odd long, oblong shape. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put my nostrils here. 
Okay, and so that's basically your skull. So now I just need to do the flower. So let me show you how to do the flower. So when I did the flower, I did a couple of different ones. Now, this one, the small one I did with one tissue, and the bigger one I did with two tissues. Now, the first thing you have to decide is how many flowers you want to do. In Georgia O'Keeffe's picture, she did two flowers. But I just thought it was kind of weird with the flower at the nose. So I thought I kind of liked it more with one flower. So if you want to do it like Georgia O'Keeffe's, you're going to have to make two flowers like that. Or if you want to do just one, do that. Okay, so if you want to make two flowers, you're going to have to use, I, I think everybody should have about four papers. If you don't have exactly four, you can do it uh, with two and one. Or if you have more, that's fine too. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, it doesn't matter how many papers you're using. Let's say I only want to make one flower. If I only want to make one flower, I can just choose all of them. What you're going to do is you're going to fan fold it. So you're going to fold it over. Then you're going to fold it back. You're going to fold it over. And you're going to fold it back. And you're going to fold it over. And you're going to fold it back. Now, if you want to make two flowers, do each of them with two pieces of paper. Okay, then when you get here, you're going to have somebody maybe help you. Put one staple in the middle. Now, if you don't have a stapler, you could put a twist tie. You just need it to be pushed in the middle. You could tie a string. You could put tape, and it needs to be attached in the middle. Now, all you're going to do is fluff it, and this is what you do. You just take gently, and you lift up the papers so that it's fluffed. So I'm lifting it up, and then I take the second layer, and I lift it up. And if you were doing two layers, that would be your flower. But I'm just trying the big, if, all four to see if you could get a big flower. So you, you're going to get a bigger flower if you do if you have more layers. I might actually have five layers here. But however many layers you have, if you want to make one flower, just go ahead and do all of them. And I just keep lifting up one by one. And if you rip it, you just keep going. You don't worry about it. Okay, so that made a bigger flower. So this is with one, this is with two, and this is with all of them. And then when I get done, I glue it where I want it. I either glue it here, here, or here. I think I'm going to glue it up here. So you can use glue stick or a white glue. And you just glue on your flower. Okay, now this is the background page. Because in Georgia O'Keeffe, she had a background. It's going to go off the edge, that's okay. So I'm going to put some, I might, you might want to glue it on your background page before you glue the flower on. That would have been easier, huh? Okay. So don't worry about the antlers because they're going to stick off the page. So I don't really need to put glue there. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and put my name in the corner. You're probably going to need to make, use a white crayon or colored pencil. Or just write dark to put your name right there in the corner. And that's your Georgia O'Keeffe art.